guys, it's Psycho Horror here, and welcome to a series which I'll be starting called Road to FIFA 14. Basically, um, the gaming community is really dead right now, and, um, you know, FIFA 14 is the next FIFA game coming out, so I thought I'd make a Road to FIFA 14 where we kind of go through ratings that there might be in FIFA 14, and just kind of everything I can come up with that could be leading on a FIFA 14. And uh, I thought, what's the better way to start off than start off with ratings and how uh, I predict or hope that players will be rated in FIFA 14, and we're going to start off with Manchester United, my favorite team, um, who I support. That sounded really cheesy, I do apologize. <laughs> um, but anyway, I made a custom team, and basically I'm going to show you guys the ratings that they have, and um, then I'm going to jump in and start a game with them. So we're going to jump straight into it. Our goalkeeper, we have David De Gea. Now this guy, I promoted him to a sick 86. He was originally an 80, but um, I think this was really fair. He was voted into the PFA uh team of the year for the Premier League last season he was absolutely phenomenal uh you know he he's great at diving so I put it at 89 his handling it's not the greatest but it has gotten better so I think 80 is fair um he's his distribution of the ball is fabulous 92 his positioning could be worked on and his reflexes are just out of this world so I think 86 maybe 86 is a bit high maybe somewhere around the 85 mark would be a bit more reasonable but definitely in the mid 80s he should be rated um if not then i'll be very very angry next up we have rafael who's i've been promoting him from a seven uh, from a 77 to a 80 and this guy he um he had a fabulous season last year and he almost made it to the team of the year as well except for pablo zabaleta who beat him to it but he had a great season he's really grown more mature um as time has gone on, so I made him an 80, and uh, hopefully if he has, has a good next season, he can also be put up somewhere into the mid-80s. Next up in uh, center back, we have Nemanja Vidic, who I've um, degraded from 89 to 87, just because he's getting older, he's not as good as he used to be, but he's still a very, very solid defender, so 87 is still a very high rating, but it's down too, so I think that's a pretty fair uh, fair way to have him. Next up, we have Rio Ferdinand here, who's I've kept at an 83, because he had a great season last season, and um, really, even though he's kind of lacking pace these days, he really made up for that with having a great season. So I think 83 keeping there is a fair um, thing. I did the same with Patrice Evra. He had a fantastic season last season compared with the, the two ones before that. And he really showed that um, why he should, you know, why we United don't le need late and mains, actually. And so, yeah, I think that would be fair to keep him there. Then I promoted Phil Jones from a 78 to 82, which I think is fair because he was a fantastic player for United last season. Maybe 81 would be fair. Um, I would actually put him as an 81, maybe even an 80, but definitely uh, in the 80s because he, he's a great, great player and he has so much potential. He can play CDM right back or center back. And uh, he's a great player with, with loads of potential and he's very... He's decent on the ball and and a great defender, and he can pl he does a good good job in midfield as well. So I think 81 should uh, 81 82 is a fair rating for him. Next up we have Michael Carrick, who I put up to an 86. Now, um, <laughs> I mean this is definitely fair. Michael Carrick had was the best midfielder in the Premier League last season. And there's no question about that. He was absolutely fantastic. And after being an unsung hero for so long, he's finally gotten the recognition he deserves. And uh, he was an 81 in this game. But definitely after the season he had last season, he needs to be promoted. And I think 86 puts him up there with the same type of ratings as other great uh, midfielders in the Premier League like Aya Toure. And he's definitely on that level. So I think 86 is perfectly fair. He could even be rated higher after the fantastic season he had last season. So that's very fair. Next up, we have Antonio Valencia who had a very disappointing la uh, last season after being promoted to the number seven shirt from 27 he um 25 I apologize uh, to seven he uh, he had a very disappointing season and he he lost that confidence that he had and it just seemed like he, he was lacking confidence the whole season so I've I put him down from an 83 to an 81 hopefully he can go back up in um FIFA 15, but in FIFA 14, I think 81 would be fair for him due to his poor season last time around. Now, Shinji Kago, I've kept the same because I would love to put up his rating, but the problem is he didn't get a lot of playing time last season, and when he did, he usually played on the left, and he was obviously out injured for four months, so I really hope that David Moyes takes the initiative, and we're really going to get to see Kagawa play um, this season much more, so I think keeping him at an 83 is a very, very fair kind of way to 
to keep him, but but he definitely has the potential to go into the high 80s as well. So we're keeping him there. Now on the left wing, we have Nani, who also had a very disappointing season just due to injuries and everything. And, and he was an 85, and I've put him down to an 82, even though he had a very poor season last season, but he's still one of the most te technically gifted wingers in the entire uh, footballing world. So... Um, on his day, he can. He's on his day. He's one of the best wingers in the world, but um, he's so, um, you know, his best day doesn't come around too often. So that's why I put him down to an 82. And up front, obviously, we have the beast that is Robin van Persie. I put him up to a 91, and I think if that's not fair, then what is? He was the best striker in the Premier League last season, absolutely no doubt about it. And he started this season off fantastically well as well. So I think a 91 rating is definitely uh, fair for him. He is one of the best players in the world right now. And uh, at the age of, you know, 30, he's still putting up those performances. I think 91 is a perfectly acceptable rating for him. Now, I didn't put the whole team, but I have three substitutes that I'm bringing on that I have rated. And those are Wayne Rooney, who... Um, who uh, I have two substitutes, sorry. So Wayne Rooney, I put him down to an 87 from 89. He had a poor last season, uh, just looking very unfit. And now, obviously, the whole transfer saga around Rooney, which I'm not bothered to go into, but you guys probably know it. If you don't, go check it out. And uh, so he's been downgraded. And uh, it, on his day, he can still be extremely good, but he looked unfit, tired, and just not at all motivated last season. So he's gone down to an 87. And finally, we have Danny Welbeck, who's gone up from a 79, I believe, to an 82. And I think that's a very fair as well. He's a striker, and he did not score many goals last season. So a lot of you, he scored like two goals in all competitions last season. As a striker, that's not what you want to see. But he spent a lot of time on the left wing. And even though he didn't score goals, he put in fantastic performances uh, for United time after time. And he scored that uh, very, very important goal at the Bernabeu. Uh, well, I mean, it turned out to not be important, but it was important at the time. And all in all, every time he played, he was always a threat to the opposition. He started off the season very, very well, scoring two goals um, in United's 4-1 uh, win at Swansea in the season. So he looks to have found the goal. But anyway, this is the team I'm going to be playing with. These are the ratings that I hope that the Manchester United team will have um, come FIFA 14. And I think they're pretty fair. Um, be sure to leave a comment on what you guys think in the comment section below. Um, if you agree, if you don't agree, who do you agree with anymore? But we're going to jump into a game and see how this team performs. All right, so it looks like we're playing Juventus. Um, let's see how our team performs now that we're playing uh, with these new players. Some of them uh, upgraded, some of them downgraded. We'll see how the team works, and uh, hopefully we will uh, manage to get a good result. And uh, if this is the way the team will you know, pr uh, be set up in FIFA 14, it'll be very, very interesting to see how powerful a team United will be. Because in the past, FIFA's Manchester United have never been one of the uh, better teams on the actual game. But here we go. We're on a break here with Rafael. Can he do anything with his upgraded crossing stat? He whips it in. It comes to Jones. Can Jones score? Oof, almost, almost. Um, good opportunity there straight from the beginning. So um, let's see if we can build on to this. All right, Jones has stolen the ball in midfield. Can we play through to Van Persie? I was actually trying to reach Valencia there, but Van Persie gets it. He's feeling very powerful now with his new stats. Oh, look at that. A verbal spit into the middle. Oh, and scores. No, how did he miss that? How on earth did I not score that? Oh, my God, that was... Oh, God, that was horrible. I really should have finished that. That was some fantastic play by Van Persie there. And somehow I didn't score. Just shot it straight at him. Now they're on the break here. Uh, Vidic has been downgraded, but he still does the job. And then Jones picks up the ball there. So, um, all right, let's see if we can uh, go on the counter here. It's looking really like um, from one end to the other kind of action. But uh, that just breaks down. Or does it? Yes, it does. <laughs> all right, see, this is where... Rio Ferdinand gets low, but there, uh, <laughs> David De Gea with a fantastic save. Uh, I'm not sure if the the original FIFA 13 David De Gea would have saved that, but uh, this one did, and uh, it's definitely a save that he could easily have pulled off in real life. So let's see if we can get anything here. Oh, no. Von Persie just out-muscled off the ball, but what the fuck happened there? Kagawa just takes a bad touch, and uh, it breaks down. Oh, that's a great ball through to Valencia from Nani. Can we whip it in? So Van Persie, Van Persie with a header, and there it is, 1-0, Van Persie, 91 rated. Let's go get some. That's a fantastic goal after Nani puts in a great, great through ball to Valencia, and he just has time to reach it just there to play it through to Van Persie. That's a great cross, to be fair, um, in there. That's difficult, and uh, Van Persie gets his head onto that and finishes it into the empty net. In the 30th minute, we're 1-0 up, and the team is feeling very, very smooth and nice to play with. All right, here we go. We're through again. Rafael, 
What can he do? Can he go? Oh, he's past the goalkeeper and cross and. Do. Oh, that's an own goal. <laughs> Rafael crosses it basically to the goal line. And, um, yeah, well, that's just some FIFA bullshit right there. The the guy I'm playing must be a bit pissed, but um, oh well, doesn't matter. Two nil. <laughs> well done. Oh, that's a great interception by Carrick. There we can see. Oh, and that's a great dribble and a great pass by Carrick. There we can see his upgraded stats really coming into play after a great interception. Then a great little dummy past the opponent there. Or a little trick to get um, just, you know, a body feint to get past this player. And then, uh, oh, that's of course under Jones. Can Jones volley it? Oh, that would have been an amazing goal. Um, but anyway, yeah, Carrick, Carrick did a great, great job there and a good pass away. And uh, Nani did a good job as well there. Just unlucky that uh, Jones couldn't hit, find the net on that, which wasn't really surprising to be fair. Or are they going to score now? Because that's what it looks like. Can Rafael catch up to him? No, he shoots from far away. And that's a poor, poor finish by him. Poor decision making, to be fair. And uh, we're just going to clear this. And that will be half time. No, it won't. Not yet. I apologize. I was wrong. And uh, let's just hope that they don't get a goal here. No, Carrick cuts it. Can, we, can he play through to Valencia? Oh, almost. That would have been an amazing pass. All right. We're in the second half. Let's see if we can build on this lead. Or um, maybe if he scores, we can get a more excited game going. But Carrick plays it. Takes an interception here. And I see Kagawa. Kagawa's put through. No, that's a poor pass by Van Persie there with his right foot. But Carrick has intercepted it again. Carrick is doing absolutely fantastic defensively right now. Um... You know, and then he's he's basically his 86 rated version is doing what he does in real life, picking the ball up, you know, in the center of the park and then redistributing it to the wingers or the more attacking players um, who then create chances. That's what he's for. Oh, and that's that's a fantastic goal. Robin van fucking Percy. Oh, my, take a bow, son. Take a bow. Absolutely fantastic little heel chop there uh, or Ronaldo chop to get past basically. Um, kill three players. That's actually a nice pass by Kago as well. Basically, I took out three players just by doing that. And uh, a great finish as well with his right foot. And uh, this team is very, very strong. All right, Kago has played it through to Nani. And he's just going to whip it in. And Van Persie is there to score the hat trick. <laughs> it's almost too easy. I mean, maybe I overdid the ratings. But this team is just feeling very, very strong. Maybe the guy I'm playing against is not very good. But, but just look at that. Boom. Too easy, and uh, it's 4-0. Um, let's make some substitutions and bring on some uh, other players so we can... Um... Okay, he rage quit. <laughs> so basically, um, I'm sorry you guys didn't get to see the other players, but basically you got to, you got the gameplay wasn't the most important part. But uh, I do hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, give uh, Leave a comment on what team you want me to put ratings for next. I'm thinking like a big team, like Real Madrid, maybe Barcelona. And then even if it's um, teams that have rumored to be signing someone, I can put that player in the team review, them, even if the signing isn't confirmed yet. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have, leave a like. Uh, leave your comment uh, below on what you guys think of my reviews. Don't just leave a dislike because you don't agree. Uh, leave a comment so we can have a discussion on it because that's always awesome. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. And because uh, I have a lot of FIFA 14 uh, action coming out when it eventually comes out. I'm getting it early because I have the EA Sports season pass. So uh, look forward to that. Yeah, it's been Psycho Horror here. I hope you guys have enjoyed this, um, this kind of new series idea. And I'll see you next time. Bye.